Hi, boys and girls. How are you today? You just caught me finishing my picture. Do you like my picture I'm drawing? I'm just finishing up the very last part, so if you want to help me, you can. I'm going to start here, and I'm going to go around and around down here. Do you know what I'm drawing? What am I drawing? Oh, isn't he cute? Do you like my doggy? How many of you have a dog? Wow, a lot of you do. How many of you have a kitty cat? I have a kitty cat. They are pets. Do you want to learn how to sign pet? That's what you do to your doggies and your kitties, isn't it? Can you do that? Put your, put your left hand out. Just like you were patting your doggy. Pet. Well, this is my doggy I drew, but I also have another doggy that you can help me with. He's a little black doggy, and his name is M -A -X, Max. And Max is going to eat. And there's all his dog food in his dog bowl, but we have to color it. And we have to use the color code. This is our color code. So when we see a doggy bone, what color are we going to use? Brown. Brown. We're going to use our brown crown. When we see a circle, that's what shape that is, what color are we going to use? Rojo. Red. Very good. <clears throat> and when we see, what shape is that? Right, triangle. When we see a triangle, what color are we going to color it? Yellow. Good job. Okay, let's start. What should we do first? Let's do the doggy bones first. What color am I supposed to use? Brown. Okay. How many doggy bones do you see? How many do you see? One, two, three, four. Four doggy bones. Okay, let Miss Kathy color them real fast. Oh, we're going to make Max such a nice bowl of yummy dog food and kibbles. Okay. All right. I got my dog bones. One, two, three, four, all colored. Now, what color am I supposed to color the circles? Can you do the sign for that? Red. Let me find my red crown. Okay, I got my red crown. How many circles do you see? Shout the number out so I can hear you. Four? Let's see if you're right. One. Two. Three, four, good job. Now, what shape is that? Triangle, right. Can you make a triangle with your hand? Three sides, triangle. What color am I supposed to color the triangle? Can you do the sign for that color? Make a Y. Because yellow starts with the letter Y. Okay. How many triangles do you see? Good job. Four again. One. Two. Three. Oh, Max, you have such a nice bowl of food to eat. You have four bones and four circle foods and four triangle foods. Wow, good job, boys and girls. You did a great job. 
Well, since we are talking about pets today, let's learn a pet song. Let's learn the sign for dog. Now, when you call your dog, you slap your leg and you snap your fingers. Dog. I have a pet. He is a dog. And he says woof, 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 woof. Woof, woof. Can you sing with me? I have a pet. He is a dog. And he says woof, 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 woof. Woof, woof. Kitty cats. Some of you have kitty cats. And kitty cats have whiskers. Grab those whiskers. Don't grab them hard. You don't want to hurt the kitty. Whiskers. I have a pet. He is a cat. What's he say? And he says meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. I must put him upside down. Mouse. And the mouse's nose wiggles, doesn't it? Can you tap your nose? Let me see you tap your nose. I have a pet. He is a mouse. And he says squeak, 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 squeak. Squeak, squeak. Let's do it again. I have a pet. He is a mouse. And he says squeak, 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 squeak. Squeak, squeak. Bird. How do you think you would sign bird? You could fly. How about bird? Tweet, 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 tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. I have a pet. He is a bird, and he says tweet, 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 tweet. Glub, 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 glub. Can you make this? Glub, 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 glub. I have a pet. He is a fish, and he says, glub, 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 glub. I have a pet. He is a fish, and he says, glub, 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 glub. You want a pet lion? What's a lion have around its, its face? It has a mane big thing of fur around its face. So that's how we sign lion. Make like a claw and go up over your head. What do lions say? Roar! Okay, I want to hear those lions. I have a pet. He is a lion. And he says, roar, 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 roar. Roar, roar, I have a pet. He is a lion. And he says, roar, 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 roar. Let's see how good you remember what animal is and what sound does it make? Cat. Meow, 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 meow. How about, what is that? What kind of is that? A mouse. Squeak, 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 squeak. How about what animal is that? A fish. Glub, 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 glub. Lion. Roar, 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 
roar, roar. Tweet, 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 tweet. And who do we have left? Our, our dog. And our story today, I lost my story. Where is my story? Did you take Miss Kathy's story? Where did, oh, here it is. Miss Kathy's story today. This little boy's name is Sammy, and Sammy is feeling very sad today. Do you know why Sammy is so sad? All his friends seem to be gone today. One of his friends had to stay after school. One of his friends went away for the weekend. One of his friends had to stay in and do his homework. And one of his friends is sick and he didn't have anybody to play with and he was feeling very lonely and plus it was raining it was a very dreary day so he's just kind of kicking a can down the road and you can, can you imagine who he happened to find along the sidewalk that's why i covered it up i didn't want you to see ah! now sammy had always wanted a dog of his very own. He always wanted a dog. And when he saw this poor, sad little dog sitting there, he was so excited and he felt so bad for him. He just grabbed him up in his arms and he took him home. And he was so excited that he found a dog. He went running in the house. Mom, 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 look what I found. Look what I found. But boy, was he in trouble. Why do you think he's in trouble? Look at his feet. Oh, Mama had just washed the floor. And look what Sammy did. Does your mommy get angry when you do that? When you walk in the house and you're playing outside and you don't wipe your feet? <gasps> yeah, that's a bad thing to do. S Sammy, look at your feet. What did you find? Oh, Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. I found this cute little doggy and he's all wet. Can we keep him? Can we keep him? Please, please, please. Take that dog down in the basement. I will send your daddy down. Well, Sammy went down in the basement, got some towels and started drying off his dog. And Daddy came down. Oh, what do you have here, son? Oh, Daddy, you know how badly I wanted a dog. He will be my very best friend. Please, can we keep him? Please, please, please. Well, Sammy, I don't know. He probably belongs to somebody. Well, we can't put him out. It's raining and it's cold and we can't just throw him outside. Please, can we at least keep him tonight? We'll put an ad in the paper, please, Dad, please. Okay, but we're putting an ad in the paper tomorrow because this dog probably belongs to somebody. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Thank you. And and Sammy, Sammy decided to get a nice warm bed. He found an old clothes basket that Mommy wasn't using anymore and cut a piece out of it and got some blankets and, and got some nice warm milk and, and put it in a bowl for Sammy and just made Sammy so comfy and warm. And oh, his best friend ever. But he promised his daddy he would put an ad in the paper. And the next day he did. He put his ad. They put their ad in the paper saying that they found a lost dog. But nobody called for the dog. And Sammy was starting to love that dog more and more. Every day when he got home from school, the first thing he did was took his dog out and played catch. And that dog was so pouncy, he decided to call him Pogo. Because the Pogo stick jumps up and down. And he thought Pogo was a good name for his dog. So he named him Pogo. And they played. And he said, oh, Mommy, I just love Pogo. Please, can we keep him, please? Oh, Sammy, when you're at school, all that dog does is bark, bark, wolf, 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 wolf. That's all he does. I really don't want that all day long. Oh, please, Mommy. No, son, we're going to have to take him. And, and take him to the pound so they can find him a good home. We, we can't keep him. He's just too noisy and he's just too much trouble. Well, Sammy was so upset. And he thought, if my dog can't stay, I'm not staying either. I'm leaving too. And he packed his suitcase, put in some candy bars and some clothes and thought, 
I'm going to wait, wait till everybody's asleep. I'm going to take my dog and we're just going to run away. And he packed his suitcase up, put it under his bed. He's waiting for mommy and daddy to go to sleep. Well, everybody went to bed and it got all quiet, but Sammy fell asleep. But something happened in the living room when everybody was in bed. Mom had, mom and dad had made a nice fire in the fireplace. And before they went to bed, they made sure the fire was all down. But one little, one little hot piece of fire got out on the carpet and it started to burn. And it started to smoke. Well, nobody in the house could smell the smoke, but Pogo could. And Pogo woke up and he, because doggies have really good noses, and he could smell that smoke. Woof, 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 woof. He went running through the house, barking as loudly as he could bark. And he, he, he went into Sammy's room and jumped up on his bed and licked his face and woof, 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 woof. Pogo, what are you doing? You're going to get in even more trouble. Why are you barking? And Sammy could smell it. I smell something. Oh no, the house. And Sammy went running down the hallway. Mom, mom, daddy, daddy. There's a fire. There's a fire. And Pogo's just barking and barking. And they woke mommy and daddy up. And mommy and daddy went down to the living room. And they brought their blankets down. Can you see the fire? And they they threw their blankets on top of the fire. And they put the fire out. And they said, oh, Sammy, if you wouldn't have woke us up, our whole house could have burnt down. We could have died in a fire. You saved us, Sammy. Sammy said, not me, Mom. It was Pogo. He woke me up. He came running and he barked. He saved us, Mommy and Daddy. <sighs> well, now, how can they get rid of a dog that saved their lives, right? <sighs> okay. Sammy, I guess Pogo can stay because that little friend saved our lives and Pogo became part of the family and he stayed with Sammy and they became best friends. Do you remember the sign for friends? You know what, boys and girls? You may not have a dog or a cat or a pet but you have a wonderful friend. And we're going to learn a new verse today about this friend. And it's found in the book of, we've done this book before. Can you read that? Proverbs 18, 24. And the verse goes like this. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother proverbs 18 24 if you're going to have friends that verse says you need to be a friendly person nobody wants to be friends with a grumpy person so if you want to have friends at school and at church you have to be a friendly person. A man that has friends must show himself friendly. But, and, there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And we do have some best friends that are very good, close to us. And they're just like a brother or sister. But we have the best friend in Jesus. He gave his life for us. So let's see if we can learn this verse. Okay, here's the sign for friend. Two pointy fingers. We did this before. Pointy fingers. Kind of hook them like that. Friends. Friends. Stick together. Friends. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Proverbs 18, 24. Let's try it again. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. 
And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Proverbs 18.24 A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Proverbs 18.24 One more time. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother proverbs 18 24 and we're going to learn a bible story today about two very good friends that stuck together closer than a brother would stick together now there's three people in our story today. This young man had just won a great victory. He had beat a giant. He put a little stone in a sling and he's wung it around and he threw it and he got the giant right in the head, right, right there in the head. And the giant came tumbling down. Do you know who that is? That's only a boy named David. And David is standing in front of King Saul. King Saul was king of Israel at the time. And this is King Saul's son, Jonathan. Now, Jonathan saw the great victory that David had. And he loved David. He thought he was just great because David loved God and served God. And Jonathan and David became best friends. So David is best friends with the king's son. And they made some really good promises to each other. They promised that they would be best friends forever. They would take care of each other. They would even take care of each other's children when they got older and had children. They would make sure their children were taken care of. And Jonathan just thought David was so such a good guy that he thought, I'm going to give him some presents. Did you ever give a present to your friend? Well, Jonathan wanted to give David some great presents. He gave David his royal robe. Remember, Jonathan is King Saul's son, so he's kind of like a prince. Like, he's a very important person. And he gave David his royal clothes. He gave David his sword. Not everybody in the kingdom had a sword. Remember when, when David went to kill Goliath, did he have a sword? No, all he had was a sling and a stone. He didn't have a sword. What else did Jonathan give David? His bow his bow that he used to shoot his arrows. And he also gave him, what is that? Maybe some of you boys wear that on your pants or dad, your daddy. That's a belt. Now the belt that he gave Jonathan, he gave David didn't look like that. It was a different kind of belt that held his sword and everything. But he just wanted to give him just the best gifts he could give him. Now, everybody in the kingdom loved David. Now, do you know why they liked David? Do you think they liked David? Because he was good looking or he was popular. Why do you think they liked David? The Bible tells us why. And David behaved himself wisely in all his ways. And the Lord was with him. David behaved himself wisely in all his ways, and the Lord was with him. People could look at David and they could say, wow, God is really with him. Look how well he behaves himself, how he acts. And that's how we want people to look at us. They, we want people to look at us at school and say, wow, that Betsy, she really behaves herself wisely. She must love God a lot. 
And that's how David was. And everyone loved Everyone loved David? What is King Saul doing? King Saul was jealous. Have you ever gotten jealous of somebody? He got jealous of David because they came back from a battle one day and everybody in the city was singing and happy because they had won the battle. Israel had won the battle. But they were singing more about David than they were about King Saul. And King Saul got jealous. And he took his spear and he, whoo, he threw it. He almost hit David in the head with, with, the, with the spear. Oh my goodness. And all David was doing was sitting there. Do you see what he's got in front of him? Do you know what that is? That's his harp. He liked to play music on his harp. Oh, man, King Saul got really angry at him for no reason at all, just because he was jealous. Well, how do you think David's friend, Jonathan, felt about that? Now, remember, Jonathan is King Saul's son. That was his daddy that threw the, threw the javelin at, at David. He went out and he said, Dad... You shouldn't be angry at David. David is a hero. He killed Goliath. He's one of your best soldiers. And he loves you and he serves you so faithfully. Why are you angry at David? And Jonathan begged with his daddy to not be so mean to David. And Saul said, okay, all right. He can come back. And Jonathan had to do that many, many times for David. He had to protect him from his daddy because his daddy would get so jealous. Do you have a best friend? Maybe at church or at school? Do you have a best friend? Well, I'll tell you what. You have the best friend in Jesus he loves you and he wants to be your best friend. And even though you can't see him, he loves you and he is with you all the time. So let's, let's do our song about our new verse again. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Proverbs 18, 24. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Proverbs 18, 24. I don't want to rem I don't want to forget our big long verse we learned. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord and he shall direct thy paths. Proverbs three, five, and six. Let's see what pet we're going to do, okay? Before we go, we got to do our pet song one more time. Okay, I'm going to pick one, and you try to remember the sign. Okay? You remember it? Do you remember the sign for pet? I have a pet. He is a fish. What's he say? And he says, glub, 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 glub. Okay, you did good on that one. Do you remember? Don't pull the whiskers hard. I have a pet. He is a cat. And he says, Meow, 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 meow. 
Meow, meow. Let's see. Who didn't we do? Oh. Do you remember the sign? Think, 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 think. I have a pet. He is a mouse. And he says, squeak, 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 squeak. Good job. Okay, see if you remember this one. You remember? Get the beak. I have a pet. He is a bird. And he says, tweet, 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 tweet. Tweet, tweet. Good job. Call him. Call your dog. I have a pet. He is a dog. What's he say? And he says woof, 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 woof. Do you know which one we didn't do? Oh, I shouldn't have told you. Do you remember the sign? Like a claw. I have a pet. He is a lion. And he said, roar, 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 roar. I had so much fun with you today singing about pets. And you need to be kind to your pet and take good care and help mommy when you, when you feed and clean up after your pet. And, and be a good friend to your pet. Don't treat him meanly. And be a good friend at school you see someone sad or having a bad day, go up and try to be a friend to them. Act like Jesus would act and be the best friend you can be. And always remember, that you have a friend that loves you very much, who died on the cross for you and rose again to take your sins. And behold, behold, he stands at the door and knock, knock, knock. Behold, behold, I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. If any girl hear my voice, if any boy hear my voice and will open, open, open the door, I will come in. Love you, boys and girls. See you next week.